I have always been speaking the prayer Om Mani Padme Ho, but without actually knowing what it means. I have, uh, I have been asking this question to many of my elders, but I failed to get the answer. So, what does it mean? Prayer and also recitation of mantra. Just to simply repeat this sound, not much help. Uh, I, and particularly, Om Mani Padme Ho is one Buddhist mantra. So, the whole Buddhist system is utilize human intelligence maximum way through that way transform our emotion. That's Buddhist way of approach. The other tra also tra tradition, most of these theistic religion, mainly through faith, through prayer to God, to Creator. It also immense powerful, a wonderful thing. All major religious tradition, she carries same message or same practice. That's practice of love, compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, self-discipline. Same. Then most of the theistic religions, you see, prayer, 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 prayer is the most important part. Buddhist Buddha stated, you are your own master. Your future entirely depends on yourself. So, in Buddhism, Buddha taught study is very, very important. Knowledge is very important in order to utilize human intelligence fully. We have to know how to use. And in order to utilize, you must know the mental function, mental system. These things, as I mentioned before. So, you pay more attention, study what is the Buddhist system. Then, with understanding about the whole system, transformation of our mind, with that sort of clear sort of day, full of knowledge, and ultimate aim, and sincere motivation, then carry recitation of this mantra is very useful. Clear. Oh, Mani Peme Ho. Of course, I don't know whether relevant explain here or not. I don't know, but you see the six syllables. Six syllables. Om Mani Peme Ho. So Om, that sort of mantra is common, Buddhism and also many different Hinduism, Om. But here Buddhists explain, Om here three uh, letters are Om. That represents our body and mind speech. So there are, I'll see the, Two levels, body, speech, mind, impure level, that creates, uh, that's the basis of suffering. So therefore, the experiencer, the experiencer, pains and pleasure, the body, mind, mainly body and mind, trans transform into pure, pleasant, ever present, ever pleasant way ever pleasant body and mind. You see, the body, mind, and then automatically speech also. So that represent a om. Om represent kasota. Impure level, impure part, and pure part. Now how to transform impure part into pure way? Three impure the transform into pure three. Then money and pemme. Money means jewel. Here jewel meaning altruism, infinite altruism. Then Padma. Padma means wisdom. So, altruism and wisdom combine. That represents whom. Whom carry meaning of 
combination, altruism and wisdom combined. Through that way, that's the proper way, method to purify three impure in order to become pure three, body, speech, and mind. Clear? <laughs> like that? <laughs>